What you've worked out keywords and you've thought about the databases uh, or search engines or whatever else it is you want to apply those keywords to, um, any of those systems are going to have a collection of tools that you can use uh, to help you to refine your search that you can use in conjunction with uh, the, 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 those keywords. And um, I've just sort of collected them as categories and called them facets, uh, which are otherwise known as filters sometimes, drop-down menus, uh, and then commands and operators. Uh, and so each of these systems will have these, um, they'll, you know, they'll be somewhat different from one another, but, um, and you know, some will be better than the other, some of them will be better than the others, um, uh, but they will, they'll all have them in some, you know, way, shape, or form, uh, and uh, it'll be up to you to figure out um, uh, how they work in each particular system. Um, but let's go through a little bit more in, uh, in terms of what they are. And uh, when I'm saying facets, uh, this is a screenshot of our library catalog at Anyway Galway. Um, I'm talking about these kinds of menus at the in the, in the catalog. They're on the right hand side, and other databases they're on the left hand side. Um, so they're point and click menus uh, that you can use to focus, uh, for example, down to resource type. You know, if you just want to look at the academic articles, don't forget about uh, you know reviews, dissertations, books, whatever. You know, you click on articles, you just get the articles. Um, so uh, those can be you know quite handy. Drop down menus um, like here again from the the, the NUI Galway catalog. Um, you know it, it can be handy to search, uh, for example, for a keyword in the title. So if you're getting a lot of results and a lot of them are not particularly relevant, um, you can look for a keyword in the title rather than any field, and that will um, tighten up the results considerably. And then there's commands and operators. And um, so, for example, um, I'm, I, this isn't going to be a comprehensive list, but these are a few um, that you can use. Um, the exact phrase search is, you know, potentially a particularly handy one. Um, so that's when you wrap um, uh, a key phrase. So in other words, uh, something that is expressed as more than one word. Um, in in Dublin very commas so here the example is common cold common cold um, and uh, so what that does when you wrap it in the Dublin very commas is to make sure that the words are kind of stuck together as a phrase when you're looking for it so you're only getting instances of common and then cold when they're together as a phrase common cold so if you look at the under the line there, this is this is potentially what you're getting in terms of hits. Uh, if you look for common cold without the double inverted commas, yes, where it is as a phrase common cold, but also where um, the two words are there, they're present, but they're not necessarily stuck together as a phrase. They've got one word um, off. You know, another part of the sentence, or it could you know, could potentially be part another part of the abstract, or even another part of the full text, depending on um, the parameters of the you know the database or the the, the, the search engine you're you're using. So uh, in this case, um, what's being picked up as a hit is cold weather is common as well, um, because both cold and common are there. Um, uh, just not as a as a as an actual phrase and. Um, that cold weather is common uh, is not relevant to to what is being uh, researched the common cold uh, then cold war common tactics is another one that would get picked up um, and obviously not uh, relevant to the topic being researched which is the common cold Wildcards and truncations can be helpful in cases where you've got uh, many, you know, different variations of, of a word due to suffixes, uh, in particular. So, um, so if you look at mathemat, you've got that asterisk, so that is a truncation. Uh, and if you put that at the end of mathemat, you'll pick up mathematician, mathematics, 
etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you don't have to be looking at all those very minor variations. Um, a lot of databases these days are smart enough to do that anyways, uh, but it's still something that can come in handy from time to time. And then there are the Boolean commands or Boolean operators. And um, so I've got three here. I'm not going to talk too much about not. I'm going to focus on and and or. So and and or do two opposite things. Um, and focuses a search uh, by making sure that whatever's on either side of and, whatever keywords are there, are, are both there present. Um, and then filtering out everything else. Whereas or, when you put it between two words, um, it it it, uh, it, it uh, you know tells the database or whatever to pick up uh, any case where yes both of those terms are present but also uh, any case where either of the terms are present without the other one being there so uh, that's what's being represented by the the, the red areas there so uh, and again narrows uh, and um, so if we were to just say if we we're researching cats and dogs. Um, and cats were the was the the left circle and dogs was the right circle, um, and uh, so that would mean you've got dogs and cats, uh, or sorry, cats and dogs rather. Um, so it's only going to pick up the, the the red area, which is where the, you'd have articles say um, that were somehow about both cats and dogs, not articles that were about cats to the exclusion of dogs or, or um, articles that were about dogs to the exclusion of cats. Uh, or um, you would get all of the articles that are about cats, dogs, or cats and dogs. Um, so the middle part there again, those would be the articles that are both about cats and dogs. Um, the, the article, the circle to the left is cats, but yes, if, if cats uh, uh, and dogs were connected by or, then it would pick up those articles that were about cats to the exclusion of dogs, as well as dogs to the exclusion of cats. Um, so in terms of that example, uh, what is the role of education in promoting positive mental health? So again, uh, if we were using uh, education, uh, and then we had the synonymous terms tuition, pedagogy, you would put or in between those terms, education or tuition or pedagogy. Uh, and then the and would come between the different the concepts that are, that are distinct from one another uh, within that overall topic. Um, so between education and promote, and then promote and mental health. Um, that's where you put the and. 